Ladies and gentlemen, this is Douche, day 25 here on Fear Mongering Radio. Um, <clears throat> I don't believe I will play music. I don't want to interrupt with my message. Hello, everyone. I know um, <clears throat> a lot of people have been questioning where I am, where I'm going, and I want to tell you right now, I am ready for the Who's Gal. I'm ready to go. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to kick it old school. This is day 25 from Rhode Island. Yes, and for your mom in radio. Cow shit just did the lawn early on a Friday night by the orders of the warden. He's got to go get some new shoes tomorrow. So, just do a show and save a troll. And he said, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, man. Damn all right. Okay, hang on. What the hell? Oh, okay, perfect. Here we go. Why Charlie Chill? Who cares about Charlie Chill? There you go. All right, there you go. Perfect. There you go. All right, there you go. All right. He, I'm retreating Charlie Chill stuff, so perfect. How the hell are you guys? So anyways, yeah, you know, you know me, douche. Let's open up a Diet Mountain Dew, shall we? We notice Arizona Ingrid is crying and whining about his mother and lying about something in the family. Bold-faced lying. You know, AZ, always gonna feel sorry for me. Oh, you know. Yep, AZ lies. He always lies. He's a, he word, he lies more than, uh, more than, uh, more than I do. More than cow shit does. Mm-hmm. He's whining about whatever and you're know, looking for excuses and grr and money and whatever else. It's just, I don't know. I just don't get it. Mm-hmm. He's whining, crying, pissing and moaning, you know. But his mama and sister doesn't care. Two Fs and he's non-stop skullduggery and me. You, yeah, me, day 25 douche. We all know my father and my mother have, a, have failed. People want nine months. Cal should talk to me today and he just said, he hopes the judge just throws me in the hoose gal. I did go yesterday for my permission. They told me to come back in the 26th day. I'm not smart enough to get a lawyer that could have went over to the stalker's house and warranted his computer. You know, he's in love with a pickle boy. Well, not pickle boy. What the hell is that guy? Trill boy. Because he's right up his alley, you know. All birds flock to the, uh, bulb. whatever they call it. All birds flock to the feather. You know, cow shit always calls me. He's a hay stalker. Was ripping me today. I'm 20 on, 4 off. Yeah, and then I did an audio version. I just took everything cow shit told me about that idiot pickle. It's not pickle sports. He said, you moron. It's pickle boy. No, it's not. I keep getting my things confused here. Hmm. Turtle boy sports is no longer. He said, put his name and the name of the, the persona. I'm just too dumb. All that audio was what Couch has told me. I have no thoughts for myself. None. Remember when I jumped on when Arizona had the first child? Now I guess he's impregnated. That's what he's all upset about. He's impregnated his stepdaughter for the second child. I do miss the stalker. I really do. I... I, whenever he plays video games, I'm the first place in the room watching him because I don't have anything else to do. You know, I'm, I'm ready for the who's guy. I'm ready to go to jail, serve my time. My lawyer is just too stupid, too dumb and arrogant and just stupid. I lied in the court of law and so he, we met each other. We did do a sex video. Cow shit did view it the other day and he was surely disgusted at the behavior. I mainly just did catching. I wasn't going to do any pitching. We're both pushing 30 and going to 300 pounds plus. 
shout out to Fat Boy out there. You see, you did a 50-minute audio and no one was talking to you. I was there wanting to talk to you and you wouldn't let me. If you're going to have these live streams, you have to unblock me and I'll be your manager. You know, I've already tried to get Wonder Hussy to let me be your manager and editor and she won't respond. I'm really mad about that. You know, I've tried to get old Carpetbagger and The Daily Woo or any of the big YouTubers and there was some, um, Disney, um, blogger with some chick that got kicked out and trespassed. He was anti-semantic. He tells the, the, the cop, okay, how she saw it. He says to the police officer that his girlfriend's a Jew. That's why she's crying. If that isn't anti-semantic, what isn't? Couch just saw the video on some other well, channel. And people are recognizing him on YouTube. If any of you idiots like myself are entertained by these people, you need to get a job and get help. Really? People recognize that. And he, and he got a picture with the cops. Both those snatches should be suspended. Getting pictures with the guy that's supposed to arrest. Cow shit said what they should do if cow shit was in Disney World with his GoPro 10. And you're not supposed to do that stuff. You confiscate the camera and you don't get it back unless you want a thousand dollars. That's the only way that stuff's up, just like on YouTube. Start charging for playing video games, non-stop skullduggery. They all move someplace else. Because I guess Disney World, they, you, whatever the hell he was at, you're not supposed to have it. So at the end of the video, the guy's whining. He says, uh, the cops are cool and it's just the security guards. Well, we all know Haggy Femali. The security guards were just, the security guards were just doing their job, which you're told to do because you idiot ingrate are videotaping and it says right there you cannot do what you're doing. He who has the gold sets the price. Yeah, it was kind of sad that people on this video platform watch these live streamers, including myself and Horror 21. We would watch non-stop Skullduggery all the time. Couch doesn't understand that, how you can just watch these stupid live streamers going to like public places and walking around like a bunch of morons but when there's a thousand people watching somebody that's a thousand less people are getting in trouble this idiot got the boot and he was whining and wanted to pick up the cops and the woman started crying because she realized she's just been trespassed and fine you start taking away their ability you take away their cameras you take away their gur give me your equipment it's being confiscated. They guarantee it. They wouldn't be going in there anymore. Trust me. You took away their camera just like football players and baseball, right? You take away their money. You take away their status. Look at Donald J. Trump. He's pissed because they're devaluing him, his estate. He's pissed. They took him off the list of how wealthy he is. All about the girl, like a man's penis, how big you are, right? Small hands, small penis, right? It's the motion in the ocean, baby. Forbes took him off. How wealthy, he can't handle that. If you take away the blogger's camera right there on the spot in Disneyland, Disney, where the hell was that? One of the properties, the Daily Woo was suspended from Disneyland for a while. You simply say, give me your camera or you're going to go to jail. Your choice is... You will go to jail, and we're going to take your camera. Or we'll take your camera, and you're, and you're done for life. Your choice. Because then it's going to be a lifetime suspension, and you're going to fuse your camera, and you're going to go to jail. Simply hand the camera over and leave. And maybe we'll give it to you in 90 days, and maybe we won't. Look at me. I lied in a court of law. Yes, I did. I lied. Boldface. I met the stalker, Yes. We had consensual sex. I became airtight. Mm hmm. It's the one thing about up the hiney. It's the original, original entrance, but it's all downhill the rest of the way. Blood and sweat go a long way. Vaseline's nice as well. 
I miss holding him tight at night, playing video games. Stalking fat boy, cow shit. Looking for Amber Lee and Burlesha. Following Wonder Hussy on YouTube. All the other females. Savage the apple ass watching her nonstop skullduggery. Watching live streamers. Pulling my picky pe- my pinky penis out and choking my chicken. Mm-hmm. You know, Cowshit's doing the thing right now, looking for me in the great state of Minnesota. Yeah, I'm kind of in the area, and, but I've, I'm ready for the who's cow. I'm ready to go to jail up the river. Cowshit says nine, he wrote a letter to the judge. No more than a, a year, no less than nine months. And I need to be with a token Negro. The precious pig that I am. Yes, I've made some poor choices with a token Negro, an African American gentleman. The stalker called. I wasn't smart enough to tell my lawyer, this is the person, this is the address. We're gonna roll the dice. We're gonna go to the police. And here's the proof it's not me, this is who it is. Go to his channel of all his singing behaviors. Let us smoke their fire. You get a simple search warrant for his computer. Who knows what else is on there. And then he goes to jail with me. Yes, I did originally go in and yell at him, a Negro. Not good, not cool. Why? Because I was pushed for it by him. I went and met him. I can't think for myself, yes, my father and my mommy failed me, named me Junior. My daddy thought he was a king. I'm nothing but a Hebrew slave. I remember when I doxed Sven Johnson, he shall not be named. Because he was mad at Kel, she called him a pedophile, not once but twice. So once he hooked up with us, we knew his real name and we used it against him. And we googled and found out he made some poor choices in the court of law. Couch was funny, but he didn't need to know. We doxed him together. Kind of sad. What comes around goes around. When you be doxing people, it's not cool. But I did it because I wanted to feel powerful with my fiancé. I wanted to be one of him. It's like to be in a gang, you have to go kill somebody, right? To be a made man, the mafia, you have to kill somebody, then you become a made man and you make the oath. I wanted to be the stalker's best friend because we're both, we're both just loners. Neither one of us really have anything to do. You know, look at Griper, AZ, whining and crying and pissing and moaning. Fah! Oh, they're the second child now. Whining and crying by his mom. Hey, lean in and listen, griper. This just in. If no one listens, therefore no one cares. And if no one cares, no, whoever listens. Look at Couch's two channels, no one cares. No one cares about your personal problems on this video platform. People come for drama, 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 drama. They don't care about your poor choices. Living with the housekeeper and the nurse and having your way with your stepdaughter and now you have a second grandchild with her. That snotty little biatch. Um, yes, day 25, I'm a doctor. I'm doxxed. Yes, you spend. Because I thought it was funny. Because all of a sudden I got your real name off of YouTube. We I mean, a faker book and I decided to dox. Now I'm paying the price for my poor choices. I don't know, I've... I'm a little nervous right now, but... I don't know what's going to happen in the jail cell. I don't know. When I go there... On the 26th day of October 2023, I'm going to roll in. I don't own a suit, so I can't walk in and 
have my hair, you know. I'm hoping my fiance will show up, be in the court with a bouquet of roses, cow shit all of you members. There was a 45 year old man who was porking some chick, and I think it was Edina. And he kept going back, so he was, he was getting sentenced to 15 years in prison for being a pedophile and raping her, they call it. She's in the court with a bouquet of roses for him, crying over her attacker. <laughs> He'll be in the courtroom, too, with a bouquet of yellow roses. That means you're sorry. When you give someone yellow roses, that means you're sorry. I'll turn around and I'll say, oh my god, I love you, I love you, I love you so much, you're my favorite stalker, yeah, love you, you're my stalker. I love you, you love me, oh, I love you more than ice cream, I need you more than morphine, and I will obsess like you over cupcakes when I'm in the hooska, and AZ will come and see me. On a greyhound bus. And maybe Nelly can come over with Lisa Lynn. I can have conjugal visits with the stalker. It's Dave 25. And I love you all as I go to prison. A.K.A. The Who Scow. I've made some poor choices. Playing video games with the stalker. But when you're a loner, you hang out with loners. What does Cal should always say? Don't run with poor people. And you'll be poor if you run with criminals. You'll be in the scow if you simply behave yourself and get a job. Remember, Governor, driving around his mother's car. Remember those videos? Cal should save them. They were epic. Driving around like a moron. Whining about Cal shit. Our heart goes out to his ex-wife sooner than later. And we pray for his unborn child. Thank God I've used a condom. We don't want me to be a father of a child. I miss you, stalker. We playing video games all night. Off and on, talking about being bisexual and watching Fat Boy together forever. I will miss you in the Husco. Please come see me sooner than later because you're my one true love. I know I love you. You must love me. Please forgive me for all I've done. I'm going to the Husco. God have mercy on my soul. I will miss all the trolling. My Twitter got suspended because of Steve in Minnesota, Billings, 
All I do is troll all day long. Arizona, I love you. Even though you're a bold-faced liar. Drama, drama, drama. Impregnating his stepdaughter. And asking for money and girl. Just remember. It's the holiday season. Begging season is close at hand. It looks like it's ten days away. Eleven to be exact. And you can officially beg and plead. Fugger. Thank you. That was an impromptu song. I hope you enjoyed it. I know. Who's cow? Here I come. I'm just... I don't know. Um, sometimes you guys... You know, sad eyes don't turn away. My favorite song. Sad eyes turn the other way. Sad eyes don't you turn away. I'm so sad. I feel sorry for everyone. I know. I've been a complete failure on this video platform. And, um, I just want to tell everybody, please pray for me in the Who's Cow. Please. I'm going to go to jail for nine months. I want to apologize to Sven Johnson shall not be named. When I doxed you, and told about your past. We know you're in Tulsa town. Please. Forgive me for my sins. And stalker, please come to the courtroom with yellow roses. With shorty shorts on and a beater shirt on. And we'll get back together. And we'll live like gypsies. Somewhere in Gary, Indiana. Maybe we can coach hockey together. I think that would be epic. When I get out of the Hooskow, we're going to start a new life together. I'm going to pop some pills for my ills. Mm hmm. We all hope. I really do. I'm really sorry for everything I've done on this video platform. I want you to know that. I've made some extremely poor choices in my life. My mother doesn't even speak to me. She refuses to speak to her only son. My father has given up on me. Cow shit ridicules me every single morning on the way into work. And I call him a wrestling all the time. He's like, he doesn't care. He's like, no one cares about wrestling. But I do, because it's fake. I live in an alternative world because I believe in ghosts, video games, and wrestling. I have no life. That's the problem. I live an alternative life. I don't know what to do. When you're that bored with yourself. <sighs> I don't know. What am I going to do? Please forgive me for my sins. Please. I thank everybody. I love you all. Do shout. Bitch, please.